Yes, I see three lobbyists here. Perlac is a lobbyist, registered state That's lobbyist. Right. I am registered as a lobbyist in the state of Hawaii. Uh, that is for a technical reason. This well, is my it's good. state legislator. He knows that I represent Monsanto. Good. And if you have six lob Monsanto had six right? lobbyists here. There's another one here. I'm asking him to stand up. I'll point him out. Oh. Alan Takemoto, he's a lobbyist. Registered lobbyist from Monsanto. All you have to do is fill out a form. And if you, you have make, to. If you make you have any to. donations as a lobbyist or any gifts that you give to. I didn't ask you why, I just asked you to identify. Yeah. Cindy Goldstein, registered state lobbyist. You go to neighborhood board meetings and say you're just a member of the community and GMOs are good. You're a registered state lobbyist. Your job is to influence legislators. Don't stand up and give this kind of bullshit report. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Yes or no? I support the program that's at the Federal Drug Administration. at any time. They can label foods at any time. The labels on the, the Federal Drug Administration says that labels are for nutritional purposes and for safety purposes. Safety. On labels, you will see where it stipulates milk products, tree nut products, peanuts, meat, because people have allergies. Who's Michael Taylor? Those labels are there for a reason. There have been no instances of allergies. So, no. Go ahead. The answer is no. The answer is no. Move on. We have in place with the question, in case you have a problem with a crop, what do you have in place in Hawaii? That was the question. The right. question was about how, how will you safeguard from it spreading to other crops that do not have the GM deal in it? How do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> what happens is the farmers who have a crop that doesn't have the GM deal in it for a reason. Well, my great uncle was the American modifier. Go to the next question. Will you burn it? Will you cover it up? I, I'm going to get some reaction. <laughs> hey, you're live. Now tell me, what is your reaction to this? Um, I am really good at washing off uh, lies and bollocks, so I feel fabulous, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was great to sit in the front and just send them aloha. The lady from Pioneer got so Cindy mad. Goldstein. She was so mad, and we were like smiling at her, and we are like, aloha. <laughs> we're, like, we're like, we love you. We're like, I love you. You know, um, you know, we blew our kiss. She was like, stop being started. Like, all like, and so, I blew her kids and Aubrey actually at the same time we were both like, and they both came in, you know, and then we made a little heart together. And, like, and she was so mad, she was like, stop disrespecting me. We're like, baby, yeah, like, she was coming off her neck. Stop disrespecting me. We're like, we're sending you a little heart. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Oh, she was mad. We got to send her some serious aloha. At least we, we didn't have to breathe the. Uh, oh, thank God, this stuff. time. Yeah. This time we don't have to. Like, I mean, yeah. but this was the energy was so heavy, too. You yeah. had to keep breathing your hot your yeah. 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 hair. Oh, yeah, we were like. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, I hear some people were actually videotaping the uh, presentation. In fact, well, several people I'm sure have. Some Jedi's up in here. Yeah, yeah you know, I think we can. I think we got good. all of it pretty much. Oh, good, good. Huh? Yeah, transparency is always good. Oh. Um, yeah. We just pull all of them out. We really do pray for all of them because we really do. Yeah, we do. Hey, it's great. I want to thank you guys for coming. Really, it really helps, and then bringing people out. And it's always good to see you. It's always good actually to see your photographs here. But in, in person is good too. Uh -huh. Thank you so much. What did you think about today? What did you, any I kind of I just heard company? a lot of propaganda. Just spouting out bullshit without any real factual basis. And uh, they didn't really answer any questions that we had. And uh, there's, there's many things that this community could, uh, you know, they're, they're being directly affected by it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they know the, the real facts behind what's happening and, and these 
guys in there twice anyway. So. Thanks for coming out. Anybody, you, you know a thing or two about uh, <laughs> growing stuff. What, what What's your opinion on this? I thought they were very brave to come out. <laughs> um, I would have been shitting my pants. Yeah, I think they were it's very close to it. Um, I think there's a lot of fear around, and rightly so. Um, and I, I, I gotta commend them for making the effort to come out. And Actually, yeah. yeah. I was surprised. Yeah, totally. Yeah, surprised. exactly. That's why I'm here. Yeah. Um, I really did want to hear what they had to say. Um, and I think um, at least two of the three panelists, in my, my opinion, um, seem to genuinely believe that the work that they were doing is really, really good. I see. Um, and so. Now you you know quite a bit about the subject. Did you hear anything that surprised you in terms of information or anything? I found it interesting the facts and some of the data that they chose to present. And one thing that came out of tonight was um, uh, from the panel was that people have a tendency to pick and choose which studies That's and correct. which science That's to believe in to back up their point of view. Right. And the same can be said for the panel. Yeah. That's exactly what's going on. <laughs> um, and it was also very interesting to see the, uh, the authorities or the regulatory agencies that were right. cited as supporting some of the studies right. that had come out to validate the data. Yeah. And if we dig deeper and we look at you know, some of the revolving doors that go on between the corporations and the regulatory agencies. FDA and Monsanto, for instance. Yeah, then that sort of tells a deeper story. Um, but ultimately, I think we all have to believe that well, for me, I believe that the vast majority of people genuinely want to make a positive difference in the world. Right. And I think the so. feeling that I got tonight was that at least two of the people up there genuinely believe that they're wanting to make a positive difference. You know, you, you're a lot, have a better view of people in humanity than I do. But, you know, I'm an old guy and I. You know. Maybe you can call it strategic naivety. <laughs> well, that's I a good not word to for it. In a fear -based world <laughs> yeah. I firmly believe that we can actively create the type of world that we want to see. Um, I believe so this that. type of dialogue is really important. Yeah. Um, and it's tough for logic and science, cold hard science, to talk to emotion. And it, 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 it only serves to bring me here. Right. So I think I commend them on the effort and the attempt to, to reach out and. and um, uh, try to answer some of the questions, um, and I think it's just important for each of us to do our own research and make our own decisions based on the facts that we're making. The deeper we'll dig, them, you know, the truth always brings out. Truly a noble attitude. Thank you much. Your and your name is? My name is Matt. Matt. Thank you. This is the uh, shirt of the evening. I'm going to show you a shirt because I think that says it pretty much. Yeah. Thank. You.